Lori Wallace has been walking through Lions Park for 20 years. Yet news that police are investigating four sexual assaults in the surrounding areas has her thinking twice about her athletic ritual. I wouldn't walk down here by myself at night. I used to years ago, but I wouldn't now. Sexual assaults from as far back as December 3rd of 2008 to as recent as Tuesday of this week are the files drawing attention from major crimes investigators. Two of the alleged assaults occurred in the Crescent Heights area of Medicine Hat and two have occurred in the Flats area of Medicine Hat. Only one of the sexual assaults took place in a public area, a walking path in Crescent Heights. The rest were in private homes and police confirm there were no signs of forced entry in any of those three cases. Anywhere between 80 to 90 percent of sexual assaults are by somebody that you know. So we know that statistic as well as a large majority of sexual assaults occur in broad daylight in the individual's homes. Christina Johnson deals with victims of sexual assault for a living and says it is comforting to hear from police that none of the adult women associated in the four incidents were hurt physically. Still, she can't help but know these scars from incidents like these lie beneath the skin. Most of them are in shock in the beginning and then fear, anxiety, any emotion, any emotion can be normal right now if someone has been sexually assaulted. Women in all four assaults say a Caucasian man wearing a balaclava was the attacker. Police released very few details at a press conference today on whether there were connections between the four sexual assaults and would not say if they are looking for only one man. Police released very few details also surrounding the specifics of the assaults, never saying if rape took place. The only thing officers truly stressed is that women in the Crescent Heights and Flats areas need to be extra vigilant at this time. Scott Cunningham, Chat News.